Hey guys, and welcome to another Behind the Song video. This video will be about a song that is on my new EP that I've just released. Which, side note, if you have not checked it out yet, my new EP is called Roots, and you can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, and other platforms. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just Emmy Ryan, Roots. Um, and you should be able to find it. And I'm really excited about uh, sharing about this song because this one is really coming from a real place. It's a very real feeling that I'm writing about. So I am very excited to share about this one. And I don't know where to start. This song is a love song for hopefully <laughs> the future someone that I may fall in love with. It sounds so cheesy, but the thing is, I haven't had really any romantic experiences to document in songs. It's kind of hard for me because, you know, a lot of people can write love songs from experience and breakup songs from experience, but I don't have any. <laughs> so this song came about as, how can I write a love song like a real genuine love song because I've written fake love songs. Oh, I have plenty of those. I have plenty of fake breakup songs too, which I kind of find hilarious because they're just so fun to write, like even if they're not real. So it's basically a love song for that person. I don't know who they are yet, which I don't know, makes it very interesting to me. And I think that'll make it fun when I actually am in love and maybe play them this song and be like this song was written for you but i didn't know it yet i don't know i think that's kind of cool and now we're gonna get into the details like the the real process i'm also releasing an acoustic video of this song so i will be inserting clips of that acoustic version and with the lyrics and then I'll explain the lyrics. So that's how we'll do things. Setting the scene for when this song first began. My school was doing a fundraiser for the fall play, which I happened to be involved in. I was driving to the event, um, parked in a parking space. When I was kind of preparing to get out of my car, this like melody kind of popped into my head. And it was just so random. There was like literally no reason for it. And then the words kind of just like crept in there too. And I don't even know how that happened. And I think it was the whole hook for the chorus where it's like, how will I know when we meet? Will there be sparks flying under our feet? Oh no. I think it was that whole thing. I, I literally did not have to do any work for that. It's so nice when that happens. I, I quickly, I was like, oh, I have to get this in my phone. I, ha I have to record this or else I'm gonna lose it. And like, I don't wanna lose a good song idea because that's the worst, that's the worst feeling ever, um, in my opinion. I guess there's a lot worse feelings, but in my opinion, that's a pretty bad feeling to have when you feel like you have a great idea and you could turn it into something really good and then you just lose it. So I was like, I cannot let that happen with this idea because I really like it and I plan on keeping it. For like, I think maybe it was like a few weeks. It was just kind of sitting in my camera roll. And then I was just doing the usual songwriting sesh. I found it. When the idea popped into my head, I knew what it was gonna be about. The lyrics are kind of obvious in themselves. Like, when am I gonna meet you? my future true love. <laughs> it sounds so cheesy when I'm saying it, but it is really coming from an honest place. Uh, <laughs> I knew what it was gonna be about, so I decided to just write verses around that. And so here is where I will insert clips of me singing the lyrics, and then I will decipher what I was thinking when I wrote them, which will be fun. Maybe fun for me, maybe boring for you. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. What will you look like? What kind of things will you say? Okay, 
so when I wrote that first verse, I kind of wanted to start out with, you know, the most basic questions. Very first line, right off the bat. What will you look like? What will your personality be like? Those are the like basic questions. We're kind of starting out with, you know, kind of surface questions about this person. Well, I think of your name at the end of each day. Will I truly be in love with you? Basically like, will, like, will I be madly in love with you? Just thinking about you all the time. You come sweeping in like a shower of rain. Or will you slowly blossom through like the sun coming out again? And then the next set of lines is how will this person come into my life? Will it be sudden or will it just be a gradual realization that there's a connection? So that basically sums up what I was thinking when I wrote that verse, I kind of wanted that to be the introduction, you know, like the easy, easy questions, I guess you could say. How will I know when we meet? Will there be sparks flying under our feet? Oh no. How will I know? How will I know if you will stay? Can I keep the tears out? Right, so the chorus just basically it sums up all of the emotions that I wanted to convey in this song just the questioning and how will I know there's a reason why that's repeated because that's the main question like how will I know that this person is the one what if I feel like this person is the one and then they end up leaving like will I be able to handle that it's just kind of a summary of all of these emotions that I'm wanting this song to put across. Will I instantly fall? Or will I float away? When you look into my eyes, will I even have the right words to say? Second verse. I like to think of these as the tougher questions, the more in-depth questions I guess. So the first verse kind of surface like what will this person be like? What will they look like? This one is how hard will this relationship be? Will I instantly fall or will I float away? Like how will I go down? Like will I instantly just be invested or will it be again a gradual Thing. Or will I know how to communicate with them? Will they just end up like sweeping me off my feet and I just don't know how to react? When you look into my eyes, will I even have the right words to say? I'd be able to communicate with this person or will I just be struck speechless, I guess. Will it all be rainbows? Will it all be pain? Maybe a little bit of both. That's what I've heard about. hardest question, will it be painful? And that's something that we usually don't like to think about when it comes to love. We like to think about the bright, happy honeymoon stage of it. But there's hard aspects to every relationship. And so I'm asking at the end of this verse, how painful will it be? Will it all be pain? Or will it all feel pretty easygoing? The very last line is kind of facing up to the reality that it's a little bit of both. Generally, in a normal relationship, you know, you're gonna have some pain and some happiness and kind of just a mix. And keep in mind, I'm like saying all this stuff like I know what I'm talking about when I've never been in a relationship, kind of going off track here, but I'm the kind of person that will give relationship advice even though I've never been in one. It's weird. I act like I have all the experience in the world when I really don't have any. Little disclaimer there. I may not know entirely what I'm talking about. To tell the truth, I'm a little bit frightened. To have my heart broken and misguided. What if I find I was mistaken? But only find out when my heart is taken. No. 
bridge. I love bridges because they give you an opportunity to stand back and look at things from a whole new perspective. And I was actually talking about this with my producer. He produced this EP and he did a wonderful job of it. Uh, so shout out to him. You kind of treat it like a literal bridge. You walk across the bridge and you see things from a different perspective. And I love to think of it that way. So that's kind of how this one is. It's kind of like, what if it does not work out? What if it goes badly? What if my heart is taken, but it's too late and I realize that this isn't gonna work out? It's like a little moment of doubt there. And then goes into the instrumental part. It's kind of like a nice break from the lyrics. And then we go back into the how do I know, the main theme. And that's basically it for the lyrics. So again, this is probably one of my favorite songs that I've ever written so far just because I love that I was able to write a love song of sorts, but not a fake one. It's just a love song for someone that I don't know I wrote it for yet. Like kind of like when you write those letters, like if you ever did that in school where you like write letters to your future graduating selves, it's almost like that sort of thing. I think that's a neat concept. So I really hope you like this song. And again, it's on my new EP called Roots, which is out on all platforms. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. I have four other songs on that EP. Thank you so much for watching. This was so fun to do. I love everything to do with just pulling apart songs and really looking into them and looking into the meanings of lyrics and everything. So it's really fun to do with my own songs. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. All right, I'll see you in the next video.